if you don't know who the glare is, you lucked up. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, like, you're going to have to deal with all the BS and the foolishness and the drunk rants. And the, I'm not drunk. Yeah, I was. I'm not drunk. Yeah, I was. You want to keep going back and forth with that process? If you missed that, you lucky. That's us. We had to deal with it. And deal with all the nasty stuff that he's done, fam. But apparently he's beefing and going back and forth with Shoehorn Freddy, aka Bullhorn Betty. And I want to be clear, this video isn't me defending her in any way, shape, or form. It's more so me just laughing at both of the crazies, right? I think both of them are bugged out. In my personal opinion. In my personal opinion. Right? I think both of them uh losers. So let's check it out. See what they have to say. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to listen to them. But let's just hear what the glare is gonna cry about today in his drunken rage. Friday. I think it's Friday. Is it Friday? Friday. Yeah, I think it's Friday. <laughs> oh man. Tell me can you um yeah. Uh I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, I hope everybody's having a, a good beginning to their weekend. I'm hoping to kick it off for you a little, uh, on a, on a pleasant note, more or less, uh, if I can, I got some things on my mind that I might like vent to you guys a little bit about, but like, the thing is, like, I have this saying that venting is just a word designed to excuse complaining. <laughs> um, that's yeah. mine. Don't steal it. Or I would, I would say that you shouldn't be complaining um, if you're speaking on something in order to find a solution or I don't know. It depends on the, the situation, right? And what you're exactly venting about, right? And I think that if you're venting about something small, something that's not too crazy and you just you're like, just speaking on it, right? And not really complaining per se, you can do that with your loved one. Right, something that you really are cool with. But when it becomes like a complain fest, I think it's like really down to the number of times you do it. All right. So if you come into somebody venting about the same thing over and over again, now you're complaining. Now you are officially complaining, bro. I don't like to complain. I like to try to do something about it. All right. That's just me. Whatever. I don't care. I'm just kidding. Um, I uh, yeah. yeah the and, glare uh, is I a male version of bull. Sinner, because Sinner is a wrench for headstones and headlines. Uh, I'm uh kind of doing a uh. I I know you will, Sinner. I know you will. Um, and I'm I'm <laughs> I'm kind of doing a whole um. Uh, I guess, uh, what he don't even know what he's talking about. I guess, uh, I don't know if I'm doing a whole rebrand or not. That's what I was going to talk about tonight, but let's, let's try to keep the fun going, uh, before I get into that. I'm hoping to kind of change my mood a little bit, but, um, no, 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 but, let's uh, get to that. <laughs> let's get to that boy. Crap. Hold on. That. Yeah, let's get to that. And I have my little temper tantrums, and one of my little temper tantrums. <laughs> um, it's a grown man, by the way, guys. Tell me, is the audio good or is it too low? Let me know. Maybe it's just low for me. I got to turn my headphones up. And so I totally get people who, um, I I get creators that 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 feel like this is just it gets too much. Uh, damn! Every time I will wind it back a little bit, he say something more of like a uh, feline, like it's not going anywhere. And once in a while, it's gonna you know give you a little bit of a beating, you know. Uh, so, um, yeah, some people take medicine for it, you know. See, the thing is, is uh, I and I talked about this on Morbid's channel, and I've talked about it here, I think, uh, a long time ago. If if I take medication for it, because I have, um, if I take medication for it, um, what? It's like I'm trading something out. Yo, 
What? Oh, all right, let's wind it back. I'm sorry, guys. Every time he says something crazier, yeah, you know, where you just uh, I want to catch all the emotion. Uh, because as I said before, I really love this community a lot. <clears throat> you don't. Uh, with all its faults, I, I still love it. Um, and so, um, but I, I, I just, I'm kind of just going through a, a thing, I guess. Cause I mean, I mean, not to whine and bitch, but you know, depression kind of does that you to you, that? you know, where you just, uh, you get into this. These YouTubers got to stop using their fans as their therapists. Like that, that got to chill out. That got to chill out, bro. That's just, come on. That's, that's, yeah, it's garbage. I don't like that. I think it's stupid. I think it's actually either really dumb or you're using your fans now officially as like a, a way for you to emotionally manipulate them into doing whatever you want. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking that he's trying to do. Right? So now whenever you want to call him out for criticism, you could just be like, no, no, don't do it. He's sad. Don't do it. He's emotional. The glamour is going through his stuff. We can't talk about it, right? Like I've seen so many creators do that, right? So if it's not being done on purpose in order to manipulate his fans, then I think that uh, he's just a fool. Like a straight fool. Me personally, like, yeah. I'm not using you guys as therapists. Sure, we have some deep conversations sometimes about life. Not about my life. And we ain't getting into that bag. I'm depressed, guys. What should I do? Get off the internet. <laughs> no, just sometimes you got to just take a break. Sometimes it's, you got to just take a break and it's okay. It's not like you solve anything, right? Take a break. Weird mental slump, you know, and... and, and oh, for the glitter, have a drink. <laughs> nah. But but I'm not, yeah, I mean, I'm not quitting. Hit that like button, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe if you can, man. Show this channel some love. I'm going to try to be on here more to hang out with you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Share the video. I'm leaving this live stream up too for you guys too. Uh, nothing like that. But I'm definitely going through more or less like a, uh, uh, I see what they're the talking life crisis? about. And I've seen it for a long time. Um and it's it's only now that it's really bothering me in the last couple of months. Um, you said it wasn't a glimmer on record quote trying to manipulate them. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's not even speculation. He said that he said he was starting to get tired of manipulating his fans. That's what he said. I mean, he's getting tired. It was too much work manipulating his fans. That was his exact words. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he's a fraud. So, oh my uh, geez, seriously, now he's depressed. Quit drinking, you insecure wino. Yeah. That would be a way to stop the depression, right? Um, maybe go handle that professionally. Instead of talking to your supporters, you could maybe talk to a therapist. Ain't no shame in that. Ain't no shame in going and getting your brain right, bro. Not everybody knows how to get to certain steps the way they can handle dealing with things on their own, right? Like with me, right? And this isn't for me to brag or throw this in anybody's face, but when I go through stuff, it don't really last that long mentally, right? Like if I ever hit a point where I'm like super depressed, oh man, I'm about to cry, why? it's going to last three seconds before I snap back into reality, I swear. That's just part of being an adult. <laughs> you don't got time to cry. Sometimes you got to go out and work you go to your nine to five you got kids to take care of right you got a family you got to take care of so i focus on the grind no matter what i'm going through my answer is always to focus on the grind i'm not going to sit here and cry about it i'll talk about it if it's commentary or actual like topic but man so many things have happened to me within the last four to five years bro and you guys will never know <laughs> just you will never know except for um the one thing I did speak about years after the facts was my grandma passing because she was really, really um, instrumental to me doing YouTube and all that stuff. It, it sounds crazy, but she really wanted me to get on YouTube. She really would push me like to do it. And some of our last conversations was 
how, what do you think about your fans? Do you think they actually like you? And she was always concerned if people were like, liked me or what, if they were just using me. Kind of like when I told you guys the, uh, back when I used to fight. Right. So I think I've told some story times years after the fact. It wasn't on some, I'm sad because I just lost my grandmother. Nah, I did multiple live streams and videos the entire time me and my family was grieving and no one knew nothing because it, what is, you guys are already sad, right? If you're, if you are, right? I should say, um, that's why I can say this. You guys already have your own stuff that you got to deal with on a day to day basis. Me piling my stuff on top of your stuff would be extremely selfish on my behalf. And it would just be just like something I would never do. Right. So I'm not saying that you guys are sad, but you guys have your own stuff that you might have to deal with. Right. You might have your family issues or just getting up every day, going to work, working your hard ass job, taking care of your family. That might be enough on your plate till you like, nigga, I ain't trying to hear your sad tales. I would have put on the notebook. I wanted to cry all day, man. <laughs> I'd have put on something like that. I'd have put on Boys in the Hood if I wanted to feel sad. Nigga, no, that's not what my channel is here for. My channel is here to uplift, make you guys laugh, crack jokes, make you guys think sometimes. Things like that. But that's what I'm talking about. This guy, yeah, I want to cry all day. Please, baby me. I'm a baby. Nah, I thought it. Sorry for the loss. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. She's still with me. No, I'm talking about like that. I, I had a plethora of losses. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm at that point where it's like, you know, like uh, Killmonger said, if you watch the first Black Panther movie, when he saw his father for the first time in years since he was like a, a little kid, and his father was like, you ain't got no tears for me? He was like, yeah, no, I kind of ran out. <laughs> like, I don't really have any more of those. Right? Was, that's a part of life. You go through enough stuff, it's like, like, it's no one else's problem to deal with whatever I have to deal with. This is a job. I have fun on here for sure, but it's a job as far as I'm concerned, not just for financial reasons, but I believe that God put me here for a purpose. And my purpose is to speak to you guys, right? To make you guys laugh, to help you guys get through your day. Not the other way around. Even though I do enjoy what I do. And I think that this is the best, best, best job ever in the world. I love doing this. I love creating content. But you get what I mean, right? So too many people, they put the weight of the world on their supporters. And it's like, I don't think it's fair. So, yeah. Maybe I'm uh, crazy. Right. Anybody who struggles with depression knows what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, and, you know, the thing is, is, is there's always ways to manage it. Uh, there's ways to self-medicate, but there's also ways to just manage it. Uh, and this is horrible. Part of managing it is, is he giving his support his mental health advice. That it's there and it's not going anywhere. It's not going to get cured, you know. Uh, <clears throat> oh, he's bugging. Oh, he's he's tripping. You can definitely make it to where you know how to handle it better and deal with it, and also to where it doesn't appear as much because you, if you dwell in it, it will be worse. Right. But that's not me giving advice. I think you should talk to a professional if you feel any kind of way like this. Yeah. A hundred percent. If it's serious, if it's serious, because everyone has their moments when they feel down. But if it's like intense, trust me, you'll know the difference. Your loved ones would know the difference. And, um, and so, you know, if it's depending on the severity of it, depending on, your yeah, him and Morbid still crushing on each other. Uh, him and Morbid still crushing on each other for sure. Um, you know, you may or may not need prescribed medication. If it's something that's really getting to you, then you obviously have to go see a mental health professional, talk to them. There's Wasn't absolutely no shame did. in that. Um, and, you know, you, you, you do what's best for you. Uh, but part of my it is them. accepting that it's there. It's not going anywhere. And once in a while, it's gonna, you know, give you a little bit of a beating, you know? Uh, so, um, 
I hate the way he's described yeah, depression. Some take medicine for it, you know? See, the thing is, is uh, I, and I talked about this on Morbid's channel, and I've talked about it here, I think, uh, a long time ago. If, if I take medication for it, because I have, um, if I take medication for it, um, it's like I'm trading something out. Uh, the, the, that, that part of me that just kind of, um, cries that part of me that just kind of, um, Lies. that is the, 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 the fun guy here that, that, you know, is quick witted and, you know, uh, you know, that's going to go away. Uh, that goes away. A okay. I'm not a doctor. That is a possibility. Um, that it have changes to your personality to some degree, but you can also talk to the doctor. They can lower the dosage, right? Sometimes increase it, um, switch it, right? Just to, but that that depends on you and how you feel, right? Um, honestly, I'm not even arguing with his opinion on medication. I'm not a doctor, and I believe that we each have our own personal thing to where maybe it might work, maybe it might not. Maybe we could find other ways to cope and deal with it. All right, so I'm not even going to argue on, on that too heavy. I just think that it's it's deeper than what he's saying. Along with the, I think it's it's temper, more layers to what he's the, saying. Uh, just feeling bummed out, you know. Uh, it just takes the light out of my eyes. It takes the light out of. I feel like it just like. Hold on, let me address this comment because y'all know how much of a superhero and comic book nerd I am, as much as anime too, as well. He said, Black Panther was a really good movie. The first one, 100%. It's annoying that, though, that Wokies act like it's the first black superhero movie that was successful when Blade came out a decade from uh, the before. Yeah, I actually went to the movie theater to see Blade. My uh, auntie took the, all the kids in the family and my mom. And the reason why is because my entire life, my auntie has been, I should say, obsessed, <laughs> but like super madly in love with two men her whole life and it was Tupac and Wesley Snipes she had pictures of these dudes on her, her wall so whenever a movie came out or anything came out and she was like let's go see it I'm taking everybody I mean she took us to go see the first blade and it was fire um second one was it was okay too second one was actually pretty decent I liked that one Actually, no, I'm bugging. I like part two better than part one. Anyway, I digress. A lot of black superhero movies came out way before, uh, what's his name? Black Panther. No one talks about Meteor Man. I used to love Meteor Man. I want them to remake Meteor Man. That was my ish. Robert Townsend. Puts my soul to sleep. That's the first black superhero and, uh, to me. Because that came out before me. You know, so I just kind of look at it like this is how God made me. And, uh, and so you know uh it's on me to manage it now maybe it's just not as severe as most people i'm not saying this is the what you should do i'm saying this is what works for me um so to change your personality you know, okay. uh, that's that's just it and uh Bang, gang. And it's tough but um oh, dear. and so i totally get people who um I, I get creators that 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 feel like this is just it gets too much. Uh it, it gets too much for them. Uh because I because I feel that sometimes too. Uh, I really do. Um He's singing a different tune from when you I have my little temper tantrums okay. and one of my little temper tantrums. Um I Okay, so wait, he pulling back from his earlier live stream when he was going crazy, trying to control and dictate who says what and who gets to do what and who's on. You too. Who needs to take a break? <laughs> Is he gonna go I back? I just deleted all of my moderators. I just went into YouTube Studio and I was just like, um, knowing that I was what? gonna give some of them back, you know. Uh, but I wasn't. But why? Going to sit there and go through, um, because when you're having a temper tantrum, you're not gonna do something so rational and organized. Uh, so <laughs> okay, he's um, crazy. But uh, and you know, some people contacted me and were like dude you know i get that you got rid of my wrench blah 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 i understand if you're feeling a certain way about me and this whoa no 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 you know because i was like whoa 
<laughs> Whoa, there being an actual reason for why it would take away your moderation status? Oh, no, no, no. I just did it because I'm a big baby. <laughs> What's wrong with him? What's wrong? He thinks this is okay. I would never do that to you guys. Um, and uh, so, you know, some people, if you show up, I take away my status if I don't see you on the stream or in the like comment sections for months to years. <laughs> because I've had times where people would not like me anymore and they used to be a mod and then they'll still use their mod status to start blocking people messages and deleting stuff and trying to like mess up my channel. So if I don't see you for a long period of time, then yeah, I'll, I'll remove the status. And then once I see you in there for a long time, I'm like, okay, all right, now I'll give it back. Like, it's not, not like, oh, I'm going crazy. I'm like, just to be safe. <laughs> just to be safe. And then once they contact me. Well, and you don't have a wrench. Uh, you, you know, if, if, if you're a creator uh, and you had a wrench before, um, I'm going to give it back. Uh, and it's, you know, uh, just kind of cleaning house a little bit. That's all. Clean uh, house. So don't take it personally. Some of you need to take it personally. Because some of you, the reason why I took your wrenches, uh, let me get to that just a Then you should have just did it to those people. Then then you should have just took whoever you met to take a wrench. Second, because y'all know what's coming. Y'all I wouldn't I wouldn't even I swear if I was a moderator and somebody did that to me, I wouldn't even need to support him. <laughs> For real, just you threw a temper tantrum. You create no, that's fine. I don't want my wrench back. That's cool. That's right. <laughs> you keep that. Oh no. <laughs> Mine's are here to help you. Bro. Oh, you oh no, he did not just play a super chat song. <sighs> Once again, guys, I'm I'm not hating on him getting super chats. I'm hating on this annoying ass song. I hate it. I hate that annoying super chat song he got. Okay. Um yeah, thank sucks. you so much, Grandmaster Sid So folks. Blair, you got this man. We are with you, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh you are uh yeah, he does do a, a lot of passive aggressive of my stuff. Community, man. You you are just fucking great. He man. does a lot of and passive aggressive stuff. Generous with the okay. he does a lot of passive aggressive stuff. He does a lot of um fake aggressive stuff. He's just a clown. Just a, a straight clown. You know, uh so yeah, uh some of you that yeah, I took the wrenches monsters. from who are listening and lurking, uh, because I know you are because you don't have anything better to do because you're obsessive and fucking weird. You said BX, can you, there possibly be a way that you can accidentally unmod someone? It seems to me it's pretty deliberate action, right? Um, it will be kind of like similar to if you're a moderator and you ban someone or delete their comment by accident, which has happened. Sometimes people, if they have like their phone unlocked and the phone's in their pocket, that's a possibility. Or if they like kid has their phone and he's just doing random stuff, that's a possibility. But it's like to unmod someone. Let me see. I'm looking at the features right now. Nah, yeah. Nah, that's, you got to really go into it. I think that's pretty deliberate, in my personal opinion. Yeah, because I'm looking at it right now. It's more understandable if, like, a mod, like, delete something by accident. Or, yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. Let me see. Guys, hit the like button. While I'm looking at this, hit the like button if you can. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you could. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll give him a little bit of leeway. I think it's possible, but it's just like really slim. It's like super slim, especially if you're using a phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It, it was, it's rare. It's rare. It's possible, but it's really rare. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's pretty rare to just like unmod somebody by accident. Yeah, yeah, that's rare. That's extremely rare. Unless maybe they were trying to un unmod somebody else and they were just like going on a spree. Um, but you know what? It would make more sense if they did that by accident from their computer than by their phone. So 
So I would need to know. From phone, I think it's more unlikely. From a computer, I think it's a little bit more likely. Yeah, because you could easily click the wrong little bubble. That's how you do it on your, on your computer. It is like pops up as like little bubbles. And then if you X somebody off, yeah, so that you can easily do that by accident from your computer. From your phone, nah, hell nah. It's a little, it's a little harder. It's way harder, actually. Um, it came to my attention oh, that, that your question. there was a lot of bullying happening behind the scenes of someone who's a valued member of this community. And when I say valued member of this community, I mean fucking uh gold um what? with its flaws you know uh we're all flawed here and there but nobody's perfect i will not Except take Jesus. um bullying amongst my mods that's what? insane like i wrench certain people and i try to be selective and careful without getting involved with behind the scenes chit chat and chatter uh i as i've said many times there's just a handful of people who i talk to behind the scenes and um and literally a handful like i count on one hand and there's just a couple of them a couple of them i barely talk to anymore you know not because of anything and some of them are just very busy some of them and i yeah, i just don't want to bother them and no cuz they use you they got to the top now within their field on youtube and now they don't want to talk to you there's no point. There's no point. You did all the nasty grunt work so their hands were clean and now they don't want to talk to you. That'd be mad funny if Annie from Tender Life don't answer his calls no more. Y'all you know, think Annie from Tender Life still talk to him? <laughs> you say he's full of the poop? Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, and, you know, natural conversation just has not presented itself um you know it's just how that is and that's cool we're all grown-ups and life is happening and it, it, it is what it is um if they don't make an effort to check on you they don't mess with you this is a lesson i had to learn a little while ago right a long time ago if people don't make that effort to check on you then you're not on their mind which means that they don't actually mess with you right there's nobody that I actually rock with that I'm not going to check on. You telling me years is passing? You know, just got busy. No, 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 no. A text takes two seconds. You could literally send an a Instagram message, a Facebook message, whatever you use, text direct to the phone. Hey, man, how you doing? That, that takes, that's too much. That's too much for people. No, if people are not reaching out to you, Right, or vice versa, and just take it for what it is. That's why I hate those fake happy birthday messages people will send me. Like, not from fans, I'm talking about from people that I knew from years ago. Right, that's why I had to delete Facebook and all that stuff. I don't, I don't like that fake ish. Right, we ain't talking currently, we don't need to. It's okay. You ain't got to tell me. I ignored people's happy birthday messages. That's a fact. People were sending me happy birthday texts, I was ignoring them giants. Right. Only answering people that I genuinely talk to on a regular basis. I just, I don't like fake stuff. But I, I won't have bullying of people just that bullying, yeah, people. I care about who have done nothing but um, been an ear that they wish that I was and but an ear for these people and then they take this person who is kind helpful maybe a little crude sometimes but kind and helpful and when i'm not talking this about like growing these, a dog. Uh, that issue is closed as far as i'm concerned uh talking about somebody very valuable to this channel and um i don't and, know what you're talking about and what's funny is, is these people are directly connected to the shit that was going on with Deeds. Uh, and it's not ironic and it's not a coincidence. It's because shitty people do shitty things. And, you know, so, <clears throat> um, but if I trust you with the wrench, 
I'm not going to have people. I'm not going to have you guys bullying each other. I'm just not going to have that. Uh, what did they do, bro? Stop and, crying. Uh, what what so, did they do? These are all adults. What did they do? Okay. What did they do? Maybe you need to be better at your selection process for who you make moderators. Right? Uh, maybe, maybe that's something that needs to, to happen. That's something that you should be addressing. What's your selection process? Right? I ain't going to tell you how I select mine because I don't want to help you. <laughs> Even learning my techniques, uh, but I got like the most amazing moderators in the game, hands down. I got the most amazing supporters in the game, right? Um, but if there was an issue, it should be solved by just a simple conversation. More than likely, it's a misunderstanding, right? But to me, no bullying. What the hell are you talking about? Y'all all grown. What are you doing? Roasting them? Like, have a conversation. Pull everybody in voice chat. What's up? Let's talk about it. So anybody who was involved in that, um, and they and they know who I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about and who they are. Um, you're just not Probably. you're not welcome with the trust that I put with you with this channel. Um, so uh I'll be having a sip. Yeah, I, I just, I can't have that. Um, especially when this person, like, is there just to listen to you and be there for you, who is active in social media platforms that are designed to help this channel and give people a place to communicate and hang out outside of these, outside of these walls. Um, and, uh, and then they trust you with certain information about their personal life and Wait, when what? you use it to bash them, uh, it's really disgusting. It's really fucking gross. Uh, and, uh, and I'm just not going to have that on my moderator team. I'm just, I'm not going to have that. Uh, what does he tell? He got to be a little bit more specific. All right. And honestly, I've seen you use someone's personal life and details that they told you in private to try to expose them a thousand times, Glare. You and Critical K were the best of friends. Like, y'all were the best of friends. Almost golden girls. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, that was you. That was, that was you. Y'all were never going to be on the level of golden girls. You crazy. You would never be Blanche. Loser, the wino girls, <laughs> the drunk girls. Thank you for drinking again. Two Budweisers at a time, or Bud Lights. Um. So, I right. Uh, I mean, is this junior yeah, you're high? Slow like, motion. That's you're just gonna have to take that shit down the road on channels that participate in that kind of shit. This is why I don't even go behind the scenes. Exactly. Why is he talking about this on a live stream instead of privately on his discord? Or... Like, come on. Is, does he not have any content? Talk to people. This is why I don't answer emails. This is why I don't answer DMs. You know, I, I, this is why I just he don't, don't do answer that. emails. Uh, that don't make no sense. <laughs> like I would rather not. Like I don't think I replied to um. No, I do reply if you even able to DM me. It's just that uh, I have a setting on I think Twitter where you're not even allowed to DM me. Might be the same on Instagram, right? You might be the same on Instagram. If not, I gotta fix it because I like that. I don't want people to be able to DM me. I would prefer you use my email because I check that every day. I'll go through it, sit here, run through it before I even start creating. Right. Um, so I would rather that is more professional. I think sometimes people get a little too DM happy. Right. And then they start like talking about stuff that got nothing to do with nothing. Stuff that have nothing to do with your content, nothing to do with your YouTube channel. Motherfuckers just sending you personal stuff and you just like, what, what the hell are you even doing? Right. Like there's nothing I could do with that information at all. Like, I don't know why you even. Percentage of K is my favorite happy meal, nigga. What? 
the fuck are you talking? <laughs> Care about your favorite Happy Meal? Like, what do you? Huh? This ain't a live stream. Like <laughs> we talking in a live stream, and that's just a random topic I decide to bring up. Hey, what's your favorite foods and things of that age? Don't just randomly send me that shit. Oh, randomly at three in the morning, just send me a, hey, what are you doing? No, that's too personal for me. I don't like that. It makes me extremely uncomfortable, actually. <laughs> don't send me no personal messages. There's the type of messages I want to get. Hey, BX, have you seen this video? Maybe you might want to react to it. This is a topic. Here's some new, oh, you covering this topic on a regular basis? Here's something new that I've seen that no one's talked about yet about this topic that you cover. Those are the type of DMs I like getting, right? Um, in the occasional, I love your content, positive messages, stuff like that, right? I appreciate that, of course. I'm always going to say thank you to stuff like that. All right, um, but when it kind of like personal stuff, you're not, you ain't got to send me personal stuff, right? Send me stuff that you want me to make content out of. <laughs> like, things like that or just um if you have like an actual question of course yeah things like that too as well like really uh like questions even though i'm thinking about wait did i make i might have a frequently asked question section of my discord never mind on that <laughs> if i do have that section on discord then more than likely i answered every question on there and if i haven't send me an email and i'll add it i will answer it and add it right there so future people that want to know that information can have access to it. Because I just, I, I don't want to be caught up in that. Um, Cause what happens is, is there's people who will, who will engage in this stuff and they're doing it to be kind. They're doing it because they have this sense right. of community and they're like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to get involved and talk to people. And uh, you know, because some, <laughs> this is, this is because he is Frank Doc. He is Frank from a, uh, I'm shameless. This is all I see when I see him now. He looks just like him. They look alike. They act the same. They are the same. He is Frank from Shameless. 100% Doc. <laughs> some people, this is all they have. You know, some people live alone. Some people are disabled. Yeah, he's putting his dirty laundry uh, out. You know, some people are fighting a terminal disease. Uh, and have been abandoned by loved ones or are the last ones of their loved ones. And this is all they have. Uh, and so mods and subs make us grow 100%. Mods and subs help us a lot. And because without, especially just subs in general, because mods are subs as well. Um, hopefully, <laughs> that would be crazy if you was a moderator and you ain't a subscriber. Um, but they do help the channel not only grow, but exist, right? If you don't have your subscribers, right, who are you making content for? And as for moderators, these are people that believe in you so much that they're willing to help you grow and help you, you know, uh, maintain the chat and comment sections and stuff like that, right? So both are extremely important. And I'm very grateful for both of mine. I don't think. You should be talking to them the way that the Glover does and then doing them the way that the Glover does. I think that's foul, right? Now, I can understand a disagreement. I can even understand a moderator that wants to control you, right? I think Glover might have dealt with that with one of his previous moderators that felt like because they wrote his scripts, now they can tell him what to do with his whole channel. That's it. <laughs> Yo, man, why, why is she writing your scripts for live streams, bro? I'll give you leeway if you was making a video. Like, I don't care about that. I'll take it as, all right, people write scripts for actors, right? If you want to just do that, cool. All right. But if you're doing live streams, something that's meant to talk to your supporters, you shouldn't have a, a script that's written about your moderator. That sounds crazy. Um, but I think that same moderator was like trying to tell him what to do and if you can do this or not and it was a real messy situation um so he's been dealing with like just craziness within his uh team right within his camp for a long time he just exposes it every chance that he gets 
though. Like it's like Jerry Springer. He he puts it out there like it's a reality TV show. And some of the stuff, maybe all of this stuff, can be handled privately and spoken about in your Discord. Maybe you can make a section for your moderators to be able to discuss stuff. You don't have to air people out every single day. Like it's come on, bro. <laughs> you know. Uh, out your way. And the fact that I I I, I want to be social with people, but because I've been here so such a long time, I've learned that it's nothing but toxicity. I just don't engage in it. So the I, one that went out crying. It's what his monitor. I think she did. I think she's a loser. She be making stuff up. But I think she did do that. Went on crying for hours. It was beefing for a while. That's because I can't they fixed it. have a, a personal yeah. one-on-one with certain people. She tried to me too. Her. With anyone. <laughs> she was crazy. I just don't trust. That's true. I don't you trust the, 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 the yeah. I stay in my the vibe with my blind that stuff. surrounds discord and anything else. And so, but, um, yeah. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's that. Um, the the hell out of his line so things. hopefully those people have enough sense not to even show up here, honestly. <laughs> and I'm not going to hide them. He is always active. Uh, but he's a clown. Hopefully those people have enough sense not to even show up here. Um, wow. You know, so they can't even uh, watch you now. He, 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 it, it's just not okay. Uh, they now they're, they're not even allowed to watch him. So not only did he take away his moderator status, he took away all of his moderators' ranks and like uh, moderator status, and then banned this person, which is impossible. They can watch whatever they want to watch. That's the great thing about YouTube. Right? No matter how much I dislike somebody, they can still watch me, which is perfectly fine. But now you like ban him. They're not even allowed to watch you, bro. Uh, and it put me in a real bad mood. Man, shut up. Look at him having another drink. Um, so moving on. So there are <laughs> Morbid's a disgusting razor. So I'm gonna Morbid is a disgusting, nasty, filthy loser. Right. Um, I'm not condemning anyone from watching him. I'm I'm sure that people like watching trash fires. This is the reason why shows like like Jerry Springer went on for so long, right? Um, so I'm never going to condemn somebody, but that's a disgusting, nasty, not even going to call him a man, not even going to call him a man, whatever he wants to to be. I'm not, I don't respect him as a man. I should say, right. He's a loser. <laughs> I'm going to play uh, like a lot of these people. I'm going to watch whatever you like. You know what I mean? Content. And we all know. I blank can't tell screen. anybody what to watch. And there's some channels that I like that wrenched blank screen. And I'm like, y'all are brave. Cause I'm just, I'm pretty selective about the people I give wrenches to. <laughs> no, you're not. I, I'm not kidding. No, no, you're not. You literally just had a whole moderated situation. What are you? What are you talking about? Stuff behind Patreon. I went over it just to troll her because uh, it's just fun. You're just the principal that you put it behind a paywall. Fuck you. <laughs> so that's just very funny to me. That's um. <laughs> That's against YouTube terms of servers. You can't do that. Somebody put something behind a paywall, you cannot stream it. <laughs> yes. And if you say, oh, F you, you did that. Yeah, they could 100% report your stream or video, and that video can't be flagged now. Yeah. But I guess when you have a whole bunch of simps just following your every word, not even questioning a single thing that you say. You think you could just do whatever you want. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's not allowed. You can't take someone's Patreon content and react to it. <laughs> that's, that's not you can review it without showing anything and talk about what you've seen from your point of view. But to actually put it up, yeah, no, nah, you can't do that. That's and that's foul. That's just nasty. Um that's blatant. Uh, so we're gonna content. go over that. Oh, we're not going to do the music. I guess he's playing uh, Shuhan Freddy's video now. He's reacting to it. Here's the situation. 
I know people think intro. that because they talk about me, I know who they are. I, the I like do not. Guys the like Even that little miss know it all. I, I have no earthly idea. Um, you know what she talks about. I, I don't care. I very rarely go over there. I very rarely watch. I, I when people you can ask anybody and everybody. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, you can ask anybody, everybody, um, any one of my mods. They don't send me stuff anymore. They literally don't send. They, they very rarely, I should say, very rarely anymore do they send me anything. And they do that because I've asked them not to. I don't want to see it. It's 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 absolutely um, That's smart. worthless to watch. It's it does nothing to help any case. It's, it it makes them feel good to bash somebody. If she's speaking on like videos about her, yes, that is extremely smart. Like I'm sick of YouTubers feeling like like they're entitled to have a conversation or you have to watch their video. Like people will make a video on you and, and reach out to you constantly. To make it seem like, oh, I was just was saying a lot of things. No, you're trying to troll, bro. Like, I've had people do that to where they was presented still to this day as like this super nice and sweet person. But then every time they would make a video trying to dump on me, they would DM it to me. <laughs> and try to be like very passive aggressive. Like, I hope that we could still be friends. And I've never spoke to this person. Like, we've never had a conversation. So I was like, oh, wow, what is wrong with them? And it's a, a, a trolling tactic, right? So, yeah, I don't think that you have to watch every video that's done about you. Like, I've been, been stopped doing that. I used to when I first started YouTube because I would, like, genuinely take a notepad and try to, like, take the criticisms, right? Like, how can I make myself better? And I could say out of, like, hundreds of videos I've watched, only one was giving me genuine criticism, right? Um, and I forgot the person's name. I don't even know if they still make content, but they was giving me some genuine criticisms like, yo, you could do this better. This could be better. This and this. Yeah. Editing needs work. And I used everything that they gave me, like as far as, um, advice. I was like, hmm, that's actually some good advice. This 